Michael, speaking of hype levels, buddy, Play On will publish the Uncharted director's Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra. Chris mm. Cullian over at VGC. It's nice to see that they have a publisher, and that means we're like one step closer to that. Let's play the game. Okay? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> play On will publish the upcoming Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra. It has been announced, the publisher formerly known as Koch Media, or Coke Media, depending on however you want to pronounce it. That's probably why they went to Play On has entered into a, quote, worldwide publishing partnership, end quote, with the game's developer, Skydance Games. Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra was revealed during an Unreal Engine showcase at GDC in March and stars Drew Molinier, Molinier as Captain America and Kaya Payton as Black Panther. With a release set in some time, once again, Michael, we talked about it, 2025, the development team is being led by none other than Amy Henning, the director of the first three Uncharted games. Well, we believe Play On is the perfect publishing partner for the multi-platform worldwide release of Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra. And quote, guidance, of course. Dude, that's a PR speak. We're, we we wanted to partner with these guys because we, we think they suck. That's not how that works, right? This is <laughs> call it how it is. We think this is a good fit, but okay, cool. For our studio's debut title, we're crafting an original Marvel studio directed by Amy Henning. We're thrilled to have found a global publisher that shares our ambitious vision for the project. Michael, where's your hype level for this game? Have you seen much on it? I've seen a little bit. I've seen a little bit. I was kind of waiting because, I mean, we were talking about this right before we went live. This, I mean, yeah. we're waiting for news, right? We want any news. And now we just, okay, now we have a publisher. Now this game's coming out. I think the thing that's interesting to me, it seems, I mean, obviously 2025 is going to be a massive video game year. We've oh, already man. hit that. I'm sure there's going to be more. <laughs> yeah. It seems like 2025 is going to be a massive Marvel year, right? We've already got Marvel Rivals coming out, which you and I have talked a ton about on this channel. We've yeah. got a new Marvel game. If you're on the movie side, there was massive news that came out at San Diego Comic-Con about the future of that franchise. And I'm curious how all of that is going to go together. Is it going to snowball well for marvel oh i want to watch marvel i just watched it in theaters now i want to play the game or is it going to be we're going to be in marvel overload by the time yeah. all these games come out we're going to be like oh another marvel game so that's what's really kind of holding me back is i'm on the fence you know i'll watch the big marvel stuff i'll play the big marvel stuff i don't know if we're going to get marvel overload in 2025 i'm a little worried about that in particular well, absolutely, right? So according to the official plot blurb for Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra, the chaos of war, worlds collide. Captain America and the Black Panther of the 1940s must overcome their differences and form an uneasy alliance to comfort their common enemy. Or sorry, confront their common enemy. It's very curious to see how this will play out. It is Amy at the end of the day as the lead director, right? So, like, I already hold her up at a high pedigree just because of, you know, the games she's already created in the past. Those Uncharted mm -hmm. games for me were the, they, they set the bar moving forward and then we get into where we are now. Very curious to see how it pulls off. We did see a small glimpse with the Unreal Engine at their showcase and how that looked was incredible. So the camaraderie, the banter, the actual enemies at the beginning how do they become you know alliances at the end of the game and how does that look how does this play out i think the fact that it's 1943 not something more modern like we're currently used to a lot of lately we're getting a different time zone right so i think that plays off of it too we get different looks at these characters and how they can build out how much can i customize cap is one of my questions right uh, there's so many questions just because we really again we really don't know anything about the game but Captain America, Black Panther, when it was first, again, leaked, right? It's one of those, hey, there's rumors floating around right now that there's a Captain America and a Black Panther game. How does that work? Then you're like, well, Amy Henning's on it. I'm like, Haha, no worries. I'll just wait. I'll wait. But again, look at now, 2025. Here we go again. So when they know, play on, as well as Skydance, know GTA 6 is now coming in 2025. Where do you line up Marvel 1943, Rise of Hydra? So you don't get gobbled up by the hype, by the release of GTA 6. Is this one of those where these games that are around GTA 6, do we see those delays? Do we see now all of a sudden 2026 yep. start coming out in press releases? And I think you're right. I think that, I mean, I feel like I said, every other day, a big game, I mean, you know, but spoiler alert, there's another game that we're going to talk about here in a little bit that's coming out in 2025. <laughs> and so I think you're right. I think it's, you start looking at yourself as a studio and say, do we do 
2026? Do we try and rush the game to beat the hype? 2025 is going to be a crazy year, and I think a lot of studios, we're going to see a lot of movement of these non-GTA placement games to maybe make sure, as you said, that they don't get gobbled up. Yeah, and this is a single-player experience, right? So it's going to be a jump in, you play the game, and then you're out. It's not a live service model, so we don't expect to come back the next day, the next week, and the next month. It is a once-and-done kind of situation. I hope it fires on all cylinders because I got high hopes for this game. I think it looks cool, and I'm definitely interested to get into it, but then you're wrapped up and moved on, right? So mm -hmm. they need to make sure on launch day that they, a, they are able to capitalize and hit it out of the park so that they can work on the next one. So, I don't know. We want to know your hype levels, though. Marvel 1943, Rise of Hydra, ITGTV.com.